What's going on everybody? It's Aurora Wise. You're coming at you with a brand new video. So this is my second video on the Jump Fest uh, so far. Jump Fiesta, Jump Festa, whatever it's called. Um, because we actually just got the Teller Knight and Constellar linking cards in the reveal. And I have a video on that that you'll probably be able to see up in the top right annotation. Sorry I'm stuttering a little bit, it's just like 2 in the morning. I just got done recording that other video, and now I'm recording this one as a smaller, more quick video of the Sulfa Quartz support that was also revealed from Cyberstorm Access coming up. And it's just two cards, so very quick video, probably won't even make it to the 8 minute mark for mid rolls. Very sad, very sad. But let's go ahead and get right into it, I don't want to waste any more time. It says, Young Metro trusts Sulfa Chord. So, uh, starting off we have Grand Sulfa Chord Coolia. Uh, I believe, okay, yeah, so this is the non-translation, this is the translation one. It is a light fairy link 3 with 20700 attack, it has down left, down, and down right arrows. It has, it requires two or more monsters, including a pendulum monster. It gains 100 attack for each face-up pendulum monster in your extra deck. Get activated effects of pendulum monsters as cards points to cannot be negated. And once per turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can special summon a Sulfa Chord card with an odd pendulum scale from your pendulum zone to your zone this card points to. And if you do negate the activation, then you can add a Sulfa Chord Pendulum Monster with an even pendulum scale from your deck to your extra deck face up. Huh. So I wonder exactly, not just how good this could be in Sulfa Chord, but I wonder how good it could be in generic pendulum decks with a small Sulfa Chord engine. So I know the amount of engines that are being added, like, on the daily to Pendulum just keeps getting bigger and bigger, especially now that we have the Super Heavy Samurai stuff that just came out with the really good one card beyond the Pendulum that they ended up getting with their level 4 Pendulum. And so, I wonder how far we're going to go in order to get good generic cards, because keep in mind, this is an Omni Negate right here that also gets you a free body on board and a free send from deck. To be fair, I think it would be pretty clunky because I don't know exactly what the Sulfa Quartz do or how easy they swarm themselves out without having to Pendulum Summon, so I don't know like how splashable this would be, but I feel like as a generic Link 3, for something that you don't want to go into instead of like, or something that you want to go into instead of something like Appaloosa, I feel like this would be a really neat card to try. I also think it could be really good for beating over big threats because 100 attack for each face-up pend in your extra deck is really good because you probably have at least like three uh three in there to give it the 300 attack which can at least bump it up to 3k granted you'd probably just rather go into access code but you can use this to special summon from your pen scale to make the access code next turn so i feel like that's pretty fine and then the activated effects of pendulum monsters not being able to be negated as long as she points to them I don't know how relevant that'll be because most of the generic stuff you're going into isn't pendulum stuff in pendulums, ironically enough, like the vortex dragon and things like that. So I don't think that's going to be too crazy, but I know for Sulfa Core, this is probably really good. I think it actually finally gives them a decent win condition or a decent end board piece. But I want to know how good this is in actual Pendulum, if you guys want to tell me in the comments below, because I haven't touched Pendulum since like 2018, so I can't really talk about it too much. And for their other support card, we have Sulfa Chord Symphonium, it is a quick play spell that says you can only activate one of it per turn. It says to apply these effects in sequence based on the number of face-up Sulfa Chord Pendulum monsters with different names in your extra deck. So I think some of their other cards, like maybe their field spell do something similar, but I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. But if you have three or more all Sulfa Chord Pendulum monsters you currently control, gain attack equal to their own Pendulum scale times 300 until the end of this turn. Five or more, you can destroy a card your opponent controls, remember this is non-targeting. Then if you have a card with an odd Pendulum scale in your Pendulum zone, draw one card. And seven or more, you can special summon a Grand Sulfa Chord monster from your extra deck. So I feel like this probably isn't the most crazy card they could have gotten. So I think by seeing these, I think Sulfa Chord uh, likes to put things into its extra deck. I don't know much about Sulfa Chord specifically. Uh, I, I mainly only know much about like Pen Madge, a little bit of Draco Slayer, stuff like that. But Sulfa Chord, much like Valance, I just kind of completely glossed over. So I'm assuming their like gimmick is that they put a bunch of things face up into their extra deck. The first effect could be really funny for going for game, especially when combined with the attack boost that uh, Coolia gives itself. And I'm assuming they probably have other things that can boost their stats for some big bungus plays. I really like the 5 or more effect, but I don't know how often it's going to come up because non-targeting destruction for any card, whether it's face up or face down, is really nice. And then getting a free draw just for having an odd pendulum scale, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, and then the 7 or, plus, like seven or more... 
it feels like as always one of those like really bloated effects that are just never really gonna come up so that's why they made it a bit bloated i don't know how much their grand sulfa cords do oh they only have one grand sulfa cords it's a link two i see well with the with coolia coming out they'll have three of them but so far they only have musicia i think it is musicia uh, during the main phase, you can add a pen from hand to extra deck face up and a face up pendulum from your extra deck to your hand. As long as one of them has an even scale and the other has an odd, when you pendulum summon a sulfa cord, you can target one of them, add a sulfa cord pen from your deck to your hand, whose level equals the pendulum scale of that monster. I mean, that's pretty neat, but it doesn't really do anything. Like. Yeah, it doesn't do anything on the opponent's turn. And with this being a quick play, you'd want something that works on the opponent's turn. So you'd probably be going for the Coolia, but then like, I don't know. I, I feel like, because this isn't going to come up much anyway, it's not like it really matters. But I don't know. Uh, I don't really know how much this is going to do for Solvacord. I feel like Coolia is a really good boss monster for the deck, especially because you can climb into it so easily off your Musikia. But I don't know, actually. I feel like Solvacord is still going to be a very meh Pendulum archetype. Because, I mean, just play Valance if you want to play an eh Pendulum archetype. Or just play Draco Slayer if you want to play a really good one. But, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Let me know yours down in the comments below because I guess it's going to do it for the video. If you liked it, please leave a like, assholes. Put this video and the channel into YouTube recommended. And if you like this content, you want to see more like it, like the rest of my review series. Again, I just got done reviewing the Teller Knight slash Conseller linking support that they revealed here in the Jump Fest. Uh, then perhaps consider subscribing because we're on our way to 25 subscribers by the end of 2022, which is approaching very fast. Not to mention, it supports the channel more than anything else, and it is absolutely free. But once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Aurora, signing off.